it's always nice to drive by like a place that I've done something for and then just be like, damn, I did that, you know? <laughs> Wait, what's your job, bro? Yo, what's up? Another day, another ride along, and today we are doing a guy who paints murals? He paints on walls? And uh, you're gonna find out how much he makes, but over there in Hollywood, man, I can't wait till I get my own little star out there. He's gonna say, on top, race entrepreneur, and on the bottom, what about the gas? Yo, what's up, man? You my guy right here? Yes, sir. Sam? Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, How you nice doing? I'm good, man. Yeah, yeah, oh, man. Thank you so much for coming, man. I appreciate you. Nah, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. Why don't you give me this free 99 knowledge, yes, you sir. know? This is what we're doing? Yes, sir. What are we doing up there or over here? Uh, so what we're doing is uh, basically what's gray right now. That's the background. Yeah. And um, this is a new smoke shop that's opening here on Hollywood Boulevard. And I got recommended uh, to work for them by this business that I did the most work for I've ever done out of any business. You did this business? Yes, sir. And then they pretty much recommended you for this business? Yeah, because they're right next door and they're neighbors. So they're like, hey, we know guy, you need some sign? Um, hit up my guy Crayo and what? here I am. There you go, man. Hey, bro, that word of mouth, huh? Yes, sir, that's that's what my business is based on, basically, is word of mouth. What you got going on over here? Well, right now, I'm just trying to get out my supplies, putting on some sunscreen, because the sun gets pretty bad later, you know? Yeah? yeah. Even though it's kind of cloudy today? You know what? Right now, it's not so bad, but, like, later in the day, when the, when the sun hits, it, it, yeah. gets, it gets there. You know, at the end of the day, like, this is on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. It'll be my first visible artwork on such a major street yeah. out here in L.A. or Hollywood area, so... To me, it's, it's a big deal. You know? It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. It's a big deal. And, you know, I drive for Uber, so it'll, it's always nice to drive by, like, a place that I've done something for and then just be like, damn, I did that, you know? <laughs> Wait, what's your job, bro? My, my full-time gig, I would say I'm an Uber driver. You're and an I would Uber say art is secondary because until I can make a full-time income and support my family through just art, I'll say I'm a full-time artist. Okay. So I do Uber, uh, I would say... But you don't have a day job. No, no, no. The regular I job. Don't, I don't. And, and it's important that I don't because that's what makes me available for things like this. Mm. The setbacks, the meetings, the picking up supplies, anything that I need, um, I need to be available, you know. And, and of course for my son too because scheduling, picking them up and the days that I have them, things like that. So um, Uber is what works out for me. I don't make a lot of money, just enough for my bills, not enough to save. But what's important is being available and flexible for the things that I want to do that matter to me. So that, that's, that's how that works out for myself. So Sam, man, uh, you ever heard yourself on the job before? Um, like, look really. at this ladder, man. <laughs> like, if I fall, my Virgin Mary counter ain't gonna fit that, bro. I know, right? No, yeah. I haven't. Luckily, I haven't got hurt yet, but you just that you're careful over here. Yeah, and that's all it takes is just being careful, being uh, mindful, and um, knowing your equipment. You know, so mm. where the steps are, how much room you have, and just Cause, thinking before you make an action. You know. So the homie Sam. It's making it happen. But here's the thing, we're doing a 12 hour shift, 10 in the morning to 10 at night. Right now it's okay. My concern is that later on at night, we're gonna have a lot of homeless and hopefully that doesn't create any issues for us. Let's find out. Cause we are in Hollywood Boulevard and I don't know how the homeless situation is over here. So what are you thinking, man? You think it's straight? So I eyeballed it and uh, it's probably off a couple inches. I'm gonna have to adjust that you gotta move all of that yeah three inches yeah that's three why inches <laughs> that's why you use repositional tape you know so that it's easy to peel off and you know you don't hurt the underlying paint all right you guys tell me is it a little bit to the side He's right. So what's up, man? What's up? Is it is it off? Yeah, it's off. I'd rather move it two and a half inches, so I was close at my three inch guess. Yo, I thought that cop was gonna get me for jaywalking, <laughs> but you know, they ain't gonna catch me slipping. So how you doing, man? How you doing? Uh, honestly, a lot is going wrong, but it's all good because uh, what matters most about the stencil is the spacing. 
because this is just the inside of the letters. There's still outer stroke, 3D, and then a stroke around that too. So what matters the most is that I have an idea of where the letters are, and uh, then I go from there, you know? Hey, man. You're going to figure it out, though. Oh, of course. I mean, it's... It ain't the first, it ain't the last time. It, uh, sometimes the vinyl doesn't stick the way you want it to, but uh, what matters to me more is having the layout there because I'd rather be guessing with the vinyl than with the spray paint because then you're dealing with like layers of paint yeah. and like, you know, uh, a lot more can go wrong with it. that way, I feel like. Hey, bro, don't worry, man. It's gonna go good, it's gonna go good. So homie Sam over here, you know, he already put the vinyl, asked him, hey, how's it going? He goes, a lot of things are going wrong. Who could relate to that? Where you're doing an order and one thing after another, a little headache, little headache. But I know he's gonna turn this around and the final product is gonna come out great. So make sure to stay tuned. And of course, you're gonna find out how much he got paid for this three day job. Hey man, Sam, so you made all of this, man? Yeah, everything. Yeah, and you said you used the projector? I used a projector for this one. Yeah. Um, and you've also helped them with the menus and some advertisements? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I designed uh, like a, a menu, a takeout menu. Uh, even the menu over there is, is done with uh, stencils and stuff. And um, little flyers to give out. Yeah. I designed this, the front and the back. And even some of the photography. But you've done graffiti before? Or oh, no? of course, yeah. That's yeah. where I started out in, in high school, you know. Yeah. I got caught uh, four times. I got picked up from school. I got picked up at the LA River. Wow. I got taken home. I got. I almost didn't go to prom because my parents, <laughs> I got caught the week of. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's all good and I don't recommend it. Even these days, you know, I'm not, you know, uh, encouraging people to do that. But um, it can lead you to better things, you know. And it did for me. So uh, I get paid to, you know, use spray paint now. And that's like one of the best feelings because the 15 year old Sam would be like damn that's who did it you know uh, sh show us what the customer wanted okay and would you guys work together to get to finalize so this is what they wanted that's what they wanted yeah okay something simple simple very okay uh-huh and then uh, what we ended up with after work was this right here no this is what we got planned for today you're gonna do all that yeah <laughs> with the palm trees and everything oh yeah yeah so Sam well What's the next step, man? So what's gonna happen next is um, we're gonna do the black outline on the letters, uh, and the 3D is also black. And then we're gonna do like a cream yellow, a cream yellow outline above all of that. So it's coming out nice. Thank you. So what's the next color? What's the next color? So the next, the outline is gonna be this like cream yellow. Yeah. And then after that, I'm just gonna clean up some spots that came out too jaggedy, and then I can move on to the next thing. Pretty smooth so far. Oh, hey, it's about to get dark. Yeah. What are we gonna do? I got a headlamp, <laughs> and I'm gonna be using that. <laughs> hey, whatever, right? Whatever works. Whatever it takes, yeah, man. So, bro, that was the owner. Yeah. He just came by to say what? What's up? Uh, yeah, he came by to check it out and um, uh, just well, get an update live. You know. What was his feedback? Uh, the first thing he said initially was that. The, the beginning letters were too small, yeah. but I, told, I had to remind them that that's how his logo looks, you know, it's like, it's warped to where it's bigger towards the, the wood part, yeah. and then it, it tapers down on the left and the right, so, but, uh, but so you understood. But you know what, bro? It looks small because that's all there is so far. That's true. But when you add the other words in the graphic, yeah, yeah. it's gonna look full. Every time someone haunts, I get scared. Yeah. <laughs> My feet shake, like, who? <laughs> oh, man, be careful, bro. So how you feeling, man? You all right? <laughs> I'm exhausted, man. Yeah, I know, man. We've been out here for a cool minute. Yeah, it's been a little while. It's just been up and down a ladder, you know? It's, like, really uncomfortable on the feet. But what's one thing you don't like about this business? Uh... I wouldn't say that I don't like, but there are definitely weaknesses to it. Is like um, sometimes dealing with clients. You're you're kind of you're in the service industry, you know, get, yeah. providing a business with what they're asking for. Um, you gotta have tough skin to get critiqued on on your work, something that you're very passionate about. It's also very demanding. It's very rigorous work. You know, the labor is intense. Yeah. Up and down a ladder, or doing long hours, or doing graveyard hours, and that like ruins your sleeping schedule. And like you know, it's just like. It's such a demanding thing, but it's all worth it, you know? 
What up, Reyes? Here we are on day three, and um, yesterday didn't go as smooth as I had planned. The, the vinyl wasn't sticking too well. Um, I had to cut through that and the transfer paper to get my stencil right. Um, but I got most of what I needed for the lettering done. Um, today I will complete what is left, um, the 3D and the strokes, and then I will continue on with the background elements like the palm trees and the other one color, color stenciling. So let's get it done. Uh, do you feel you gotta love this business? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah? I mean, the biggest thing I think that, like, just as any entrepreneurship is, like, you gotta wanna grow. You gotta wanna, you know, do better on the next gig, the next thing. Like, it's it's, it's always about escalating to your next height, you know? So, um, if you're not in the pursuit of that, then, you know... The way you even do it? Yeah, exactly. And, of course, if you wanna see more Sam's work, or you wanna contact him... Sam, where can people find you at, man? So my website is www.crao.com. That's C-R-A-O-E. And my Instagram is the same thing, uh, at C-R-A-O-E. 